Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and I recently published a video on YouTube um, of a day trip I took on some back roads of Alabama looking for abandoned buildings and other things, and I found some really great abandoned buildings, and we're looking at one of those here, which I found in Anniston, Alabama. Uh, it's a really cool old uh, commercial building of some kind. It might have been a mill. It looks like at some point it had some retail in it. And I kind of became obsessed with the ivy on the side of this wall. And uh, as I walked around and checked out the other side, I found this really cool old door. And I found a hole in the bricks that went through to the interior that had a tree growing out of it. And I stuck my hand in there and made this video clip of the inside of the room. And... Uh, thought all of it was really interesting and cool and put it into the video and didn't give two thoughts to the fact that what we're looking at here inside this little hole inside this room is a naturally occurring phenomenon called a camera obscura effect. And in case you don't know, a camera obscura is a darkened room with some kind of a little pinhole of light shining in that actually projects imagery from outside into the interior of the room on the back wall. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Now, it didn't occur to me that that's what I was seeing first go around. In fact, um, I thought maybe these clouds were painted onto that wall, but that's kind of silly. It's an old industrial building of some kind. They're not going to paint the interior like a child's bedroom. But I also thought, well, if it's a camera obscura, my hand would be blocking the light coming through the hole. And it occurred to me there are other holes in the wall. And I think this is probably a higher up hole on the wall allowing the clouds to shine in. So anyways, I think that is super cool. It's the first time I've ever personally witnessed a camera obscura effect. And if you think about it, this room is essentially acting like a pinhole camera. Uh, and you can actually make a pinhole camera with a box and a hole. And if you put a piece of photographic paper in and, and let a subject shine through, you can get an exposure and make a print on the paper. And the only difference is between that and a real camera is you add a lens to sharpen it up a little bit and you've got a modern camera essentially. So this is sort of the original origins of the concept of photography, which is just to me really interesting and cool. Anyways, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.